Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. So, um, I'm actually recording this video after I recorded another Wooden Railway Custom video. Um, <clears throat> but, um, I'm gonna, I decided to upload this one first, just because, I don't know, I thought the customs in this one were a bit cooler. So, um, first off, I'm gonna show a change that I made to... A Thomas that I'm gonna show off in the video that will come out after this. So this is this is just another stock standard Thomas, and I decided to remove the face. Uh, I removed the face and I decided to use it on a Backman Thomas, and this I'm probably gonna use it as like a, I don't really know what I'm gonna use this for. I'm probably gonna like, you know, I don't know, print out some faces and use this as like a changeable face wooden railway thomas i don't know um so anyway let's start off with uh mavis so i have the um i have i have a very common mavis that almost every thomas wooden railway like person has um it's a learning curve one and it's the one where it's just all black and it's got the notch on the back and everything and Speaking of the back, let's start here. So, this was originally all black. I added the yellow stripe things, a uh, lamp, and buffer beam. Uh, on the side, I added these little, like, uh, handles for, for, like, radiator engine things. Added some handrails on the top, and then I added a buffer beam at the front. Um, and this was all taken from the actual Mavis model. Um, I pulled up pictures of the, um, Mavis model used on the show, and I just sort of used that for inspiration. Um, so yeah, that, that's Mavis, uh, just put it off to the side. Uh, next, I'll use, I'll just kind of bring in this failed project. Um, so, this is actually the base of, um, this little dumper car from the, um, what's it called? from the construction set came with like a little cement mixer i took the base off of that and i tried to make a custom toad because i didn't want to shed out like 20 bucks for one uh but um it, as you can see it didn't really turn out that well um so i literally just now bought a wooden railway donald and a wooden railway toad so you'll see a video on those when they arrive which will probably be a week or so <clears throat> so anyway probably going to take this apart put this back on it and then yeah uh, i mean i like to show off finished products but you know sometimes things don't go out as planned so i like to show the frail pro the frail projects as well so yeah just chuck it off to the side so next we've got some custom coaches this time so um these are um, these are some imaginarium coaches that um you know imaginarians that like wooden railway brand that toys r us owns um and i bought uh this like diesel and it came with these two coaches so, they were originally orange, and they had, like, a black and red stripe going across. Um, and I decided to make one of these a brake coach, one of these a normal coach, and then paint them red to become, like, the Thomas Friends branch tank coaches. So, I painted them red. I kept the windows, though. Um, so let's just start with this one, because this, this is probably the easiest one I did. I painted it red. I kept the windows. Um, I added some windows on the front and back, like any Clarabelle have, and then I wrote on the bottom, branch line coach. Um, and if I actually bring any Clarabelle, let's bring Annie over here, it's actually written in the same way that a normal wooden railway, um, engine would be written in. So, like, if you flip it over this way, it starts over here, and it goes across, and it connects like that. So yeah. 
put any back over there. So, um, yeah. This is just a normal Brandstein coach that I made. Um, to sort of go with, I don't know, whatever engine that needs it. So, that's that out of the way. And then here's the other one. So, it's basically, I did the exact same thing. Except I removed one window on either side. And I added a lamp on the back because this is a brake coach. And again, a brake coach on the bottom. So yeah, that is that. And yeah, I don't actually have a picture of the original Imaginarium coaches that I used for this, but I'm sure you can find them somewhere on the internet. Um, so yeah, whoop. Get those out of the way. And now time for my favorite customs that I've made so far. These, these guys. So, let's just start with this one, because it's better. Um, so this, for both of these coaches, um, I used, obviously, Imaginarium, as you can probably tell. I would express coach on the bottom, like the real ones would be. But, I didn't want to shut up, like, 50 Australian dollars for just one express coach. Believe it or not, here in Australia... Two, a pair of express coaches, wooden railway ones, will set you back about 80, 90 Australian dollars, which is like, uh, with calculations, like 50, 60 US dollars, something like that. Um, yeah, so I decided to make my own. Uh, for my express, I used, uh, I always use these Imaginarium coaches unpainted. This, this one was just full white with um this one was like white and gray and this one was just like full blue um but uh i decided that uh i didn't i wanted express coaches proper ones and i didn't want to shit out a hundred bucks for them so instead what i did was i looked at some like i closely looked at some pictures of the season two express coaches the cgi coaches the lots of different pictures of the model cgi coaches and whatever and i made my own sort of combination of each so here we have just the normal coach uh as you can see you've got the red line the, like the red part you've got this yellow lining that goes around it uh like the real one um and you've got these five long windows and i did this because Originally, I had just made a, this coach, um, and this one I kept blue. I had originally just made this one, and I was kind of happy with it, but the problem was is that I didn't like the way the windows looked, because I'd just done, like, these little tiny windows going all along, like the actual ones, but, uh, so I decided that, because these, uh, this coach right here, had square windows already like printed on it part of the original design so i just painted them i mean i went over with a uh, sharpie uh, uh you know went over with a, sh with a sharpie did them black um on either side and then i added these little small squares which is where the doors go so you can see there's the handles um on either side and then i did the rest white got a yellow line separating the red and the white and then i did again sharpie for the black front and back and the roof and then i wrote express coach on the bottom as you can see that's the original color right there that sort of blue so yeah that's what i did for that and then i decided to turn this one into a brake coach so i went over in the in this white paint again got rid of the smaller windows <laughs> And I tried to make them the same sort of square as um, these coaches there. And you can see it lines up pretty well. Uh, again, I added the doors. And I also added the double doors at the back, like the Model Series coaches. Added these two little tiny windows, like the Model Series coaches. Added a lamp at the, black, at the, uh, the back. I did the same thing on the other side. And that's it, really. And honestly, I'm really happy with the way they turned out. Um, now, of course, they don't really match that well because um, this is from an older high-speed train. 
and this is from one of the more newer ones except they don't make these two anymore it was newer when i bought it that that's the point i'm trying to make um but yeah i i think they turned out pretty well i mean i would have preferred for this coach to be just like this one um because i prefer the look of this one it's more thomas and friends but i mean hey i worked with what i had and i didn't make a fuss about it and honestly i think it looks pretty well with uh, my engine i mean gordon's over there in the shed so i'm not bothered to go pull him out um but yeah this is actually just a what they call them it's like one of these wooden railway engines that like you run them over with one of these like tracks and starts talking i don't i don't know what they're called uh but i for some reason i only have one of them and that one engine is edward uh, i guess i just saw the golden magnets and as, as a kid and i was like ooh gold uh anyway so yeah that's that's pretty much all i've done um in terms of like big customs there are also some smaller stuff that i did if i just move these out of the way and oh, oh, and i bring doc over here oh he's missing his brake fan i just uh so this is again imaginarium brake fan came with some steam loco i wrote soda line caboose on both sides, added a lamp at the back, and wrote Soto Line Caboose, just like the real wooden railway Soto Line Caboose. Um, this is a uh, tank, Imaginarium Tanker. It said something else originally on it, but I wrote NW for Northwestern um, on, a, on both sides. Uh, and I also added a face. So there's that. This is also... Um, a Vickers Town uh, light up thing from some combo pack, and I gave it a face. Uh, uh, this is Thomas Wood Scruffy, I didn't do anything to that. There's the Soto Coal Car, which I gave a face. Uh, this Cargo Car, which I also gave a face. And this Soto Recycling Car, which I again gave a face. Because I am, again, not bothered to shed out a bunch of money for, it's like, wooden railway, I don't know, Fred, Pelhay, Brickety, Troublesome Trucks, like, they're really expensive. Um, and so, yeah, that, in terms of what I wanted to show in this video, that's, um, really, um, all I've done. Uh, so, yeah, thank you guys for watching, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.